Hi everybody, Lindsay here, and I want to show you a quick way to have students create their Works Cited page, MLA citations, directly within a Google Doc. So here's what you do. You just go to Tools, you click on Citations here, and once I do that, you can choose APA, MLA, I use MLA, and then it's as simple as adding a citation source. Now when you click on this, you can choose what type of a source website and then you can search with the url so i have a couple of example sources pulled up i'm going to copy this url here i'm going to go back to my doc paste it in see what comes up all of this information is really good and it's always a good idea to double check to make sure that the information that it fills in automatically is in fact correct so I'm going to go back here, my website title. Yes, it is from the Atlantic. It does have title here. It has the correct author. It has the URL. It has the publication date and the access date as well. Now, if there were extra contributors or things that they did not add automatically, then we could go ahead and add them here. And then I'm going to click add citation source. We can click cite and add this directly into the doc. I've got it. I'm going to add another citation source though. So I'm going to come here to my New York Times. I hate that it now makes you pay to subscribe in order to get more than a certain number of views per month. Anyhow, Okay, that looks good. And we can always cite manually if the information it's pulling isn't accurate. But I'm going to continue. I just want to show you that it will do something magical. It will automatically alphabetize your sources. All of those little things, those nitpicky things that we English teachers notice about students' work cited pages, the formatting is automatically done for them with this tool, which is amazing. Now I understand this is a good skill to learn, but at the same time, if there is a tool that allows us to work smarter, not harder, it's also good to be familiar with that. So I'm just gonna add one more citation source here. Okay, now this one should be interesting. We're gonna see if it pulls Scott Edwards. Contributors, see it's missing, okay. So sometimes when the contributors are listed at the end of the article, it doesn't grab that. Continue. So I'm just going to enter it manually here. We know that Scott Edwards is the author. Reading in the brain. We do not need this at the end of the title. We can take that out. Uh, so we can do 2016. Add citation source. Perfect. See, it's alphabetizing it here. Okay, so then all that we need to do here is insert work cited. And look at that. Oh my goodness. It says works cited, not work cited. It is indented. No more having students fiddle with this and not spacing it correctly. It is a thing of magical beauty. So I hope that this helps you students if you are looking to create an awesome work cited page. It helps you teachers help your students help themselves. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Happy researching.